The late adopter. Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, welcome back to the BitTorrent video right now and uh, it's in red like minus 5% when everything is in green like 5-10% in green so you guys are probably like dude what's happening with BitTorrent tell me what's happening why are you going down like yeah well, no, you you popped up you know you went uh, high you uh, the price popped it has to consolidate it's not correcting it's consolidating there's a, a very important difference in the bull run, nothing is correcting, everything is just consolidating before it makes new highs and stuff like that. So this is gonna go higher, but right now it's going sideways or a little bit down or something like that. It's a normal moment. So if you're a hodler, uh, I'm sorry to tell you, but you know, you have to wait uh, the pain out of the pain period. That's, uh, you know, while uh, the, the the worst part of this is if you're a hodler in BitTorrent you you probably gonna hold uh, at least the next week at least the next week and I'm gonna show you why while everything else is in green and uh, that's up to you anyways I'm gonna want to show you what we are actually seeing here and uh, what's actually happening before I do that go to the telegram channel uh, new channel down in comments below uh, probably a lot of other people that are holding the BitTorrent so you might want to uh, comfort each other uh, that's it. Let, let's start looking what's actually happening. You can see here that once we popped uh, all the way up that uh, uh, 0 013 right uh, uh, over here, we start correcting down here because this indicator or uh, this indicator, this weekly indicator, uh, hit 94. The RSI hit uh, 94 levels. That, that, it's very high, but at the same time, it also hit uh, 94, 93 on the daily, and daily and uh, weekly also came at the same time. So, so it, it kind of had some kind of uh, some kind of uh, some kind of pullback or consolidation right we have seen uh, for example with the engine coin that uh, the the overbought levels at 95 doesn't have to correct down to 70 80 uh, engine coin went from 92 on the error side to 95 to 95 to 96 then corrected down to 89 then correct down to 92 and now it's pumping again you know so it doesn't have to correct all the way down this can only be one week and maybe it might be only one week because everything else is so bullish right now uh, that it actually might uh, uh, not correct that much uh, but but we have to see but right now it's in some kind of a downtrend and uh, and uh, I'm gonna show you also uh, what I'm seeing so yesterday we on, on our patreon page we have this thing where we do altcoins right and uh, and uh, we do like 30 40 altcoins daily rank them up uh, on youtube i can do like four or five altcoins every day right but there we do like in one video we do like 30 altcoins every single day uh 30 40 altcoins every single day and we rank them up nicely so yesterday i think we were talking about uh, BitTorrent as well and i said BitTorrent has exact same movement as as uh, tron this is tron Tron versus US dollar, right? TRX, and it has exactly same moment. And when we made that uh, that uh, that video, the Tron was actually here, and uh, and uh, BitTorrent was actually here. So these two lines were uh, are uh, were about to to were about to uh, converge, right, and uh, cross, and these as well. And uh, I was saying that they are doing exactly the same thing. Broke twenty, sorry, broke. Uh, Broke 10 moving average, 20 moving average, went all the way down to the to the 50 moving line. Broke 10, broke 20, all the way down to the 50 moving line. And then bounced all the way up to the to the uh, to the 20 moving average over it and started going down ab above it. Uh, over it and started going down to above it. So we made the video exactly up here, right? Uh, and uh, no, 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 we actually made it uh, here. But first time I was talking about it was actually at cross, and I was saying that it's very interesting because uh, they're having the same chart. So then came this move up here. The uh, I'm gonna show you the bit torrent actually got support on the 20 moving average and bounced all the way up to the to 10 moving average, right? And people would think that that's bullish, but while the bit uh, sorry, but while the tron went below the 20 went all the way hit this uh, 50 moving average and then is bouncing it up but when we made video it was going to for for the 20 so for the 50 moving average while uh, the bit torrent was actually going for the 10 moving average so this was going in uh, so wait so so BitTorrent already hit and got support on 20 and was going for the 10 moving average and the BitTorrent did not get support on 20 and was going for the 50 moving average and I said the BitTorrent, uh, sorry, I said the Tron is more bullish 
than BitTorrent because of this. People who don't understand technical analysis, uh, don't understand how these subtle, subtle moves can be more bullish or bearish based on what I do, but I'm gonna explain to you why. This is bearish because it went all the way up to the 10 moving average and it doesn't have any force to break out. Right, it it bounced off of ten, but it, the ten, uh, it bounced off of twenty moving average, the red line, and it got rejected on the ten because it doesn't have enough force. While bit, uh, while Tron actually went all the way down, even below it, got enough uh, people to sell uh, or weekends to sell, so it got enough force to force its way back up above the 10 moving average. So there are two different, uh, almost the same uh, uh, playbook, almost the same uh, way it displayed out, but different outcome scenarios because this one got support on the 20 and this one got support on the 50 the first time. So you see here right now that it got rejected by, by 10 and once you get rejected by the uh, by the 10 on this kind of uh, this kind of move, uh, it's indicate this is gonna go lower. And you can see right now it's it's breaking the 50 moving average. So whether it's gonna manage to get support on the 50 above the 50 moving average or not, that's the pencil see. So we have to keep on following this. But it, it was a nice move and uh, I thought it was very interesting to see the difference between something that's bullish like Tron and something that's bearish like BitTorrent, uh, how they are playing out in the exact same scenario. And you can see here all the way up, uh, all the way down uh, up to this point though, it played exactly the same uh, and that was some kind of a, a sell-off and right after that this is last part of the of the move it played out totally different while the uh, while Tron went all the way for the 50 moving energy and then bounced off with 50 moving energy. the the BitTorrent tried to get up above the ten, uh, 10 moving average too quickly without enough force uh, and went down so for the uh, I also have a video from I think 2018 it's, it's not public right now but I I said for the price to move higher it has to go uh, down it has to break some supports you have to have people selling you have to have a weak, uh, hit, uh, hand selling you have to make everybody sell who do not want to hold you must make everybody sell and once everybody is sold and you cannot push, push the price further down that is when the price is going to change and it's going to start going up because all those people that sold are going to start buying in the other people are going to see the price move up and going to buy start buying in and stuff like that but right now you have to hold guys uh, if you are holding you have to hold for for more time the bearish thing will come if we start breaking this uh, uh, this uh, 10 moving average but right now it, it, it doesn't it doesn't look good until the uh, until next uh, next week so I think I, I'm thinking this candle will uh, end in uh, red today. Uh, sorry, on Monday. Today is Saturday. Today is Saturday, so tomorrow is Sunday. So a couple of more days at least for this candle to end in uh, red because you need that. You need that for price to move higher. You need to get good, go from 95 down to at least 81. At least 81. If that holds, if you can even push push further this uh, RSI, then I'm seeing. Uh, I, we can maybe maybe we can be very very bullish next week especially if uh, all the outcomes and stuff uh, start start going up next week we might actually uh, be bullish so this candle uh, this daily candle might close here next might close over there and then on Monday we might actually start uh, going up so this doesn't have to have that big correction maybe we are already at the some kind of bottom right now uh, and we might actually move further from this uh, so we have to see like uh, but right now it is in some kind of consolidation period sideways moves you can see over here even this one went all almost all the way down to the 50 moving average and then start climbing now we are getting support on the on the fact that we got support here on the 50 moving average on 4 hour it gives me a lot of uh, confidence that we are maybe gonna get support on the 50 moving average here as well so but I wouldn't I wouldn't bet on this right right now I would bet on this so the chance are that we can still uh, be pushed down as long as we are on the four hourly below this 10 moving average that's uh, that's pushing us down right now as long as we are below the 10 moving average that's pushing us down uh, I would see further downside but at one point we have to cross it and once we cross the 10 moving average I think that's gonna be it I don't think it's if it if it happens they all good and all uh, nice and dandy but I think I think this might actually uh, for the big moves for bit turned I think we have to wait for the next week I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys, uh, that, that's how life is, uh, but uh, you know. Uh, also, if you wanna, if you're into altcoins and wanna see uh, other things that are not in uh, red but in green, uh, what altcoins are pumping or the red coins, uh, you might wanna check out Patreon page, we do like 30-40 coins every single day. 
um, and uh, rank them up nicely, what's good, what's not, and stuff like that. So check it out. That said, that said, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video for our YouTube algorithm, and uh, subscribe to the channel because we do BitTorrent updates every single day, every single day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.